Hello my dear family members imagine that you cracked the cognitive and technical section of Accenture people are congratulating you for that success your parents are much happy wait 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 don't imagine that make it happen because i am here to assist you with my best effort today in this video we will see an advanced coding question which was asked on Accenture coding section 8th October 2023 so let's start with the question so the question is regarding number of combinations leading to a product problem statement is you are given an array of integers error of length n and a positive integer m find and print the number of possible unique triplets having product m and print the count note that no element is repeated in the given array input format is given as below the input consists of three lines the first line contains an integer that is m the second line contains an integer n that is the length of arr the th uh, third line contains an space separated integers that is the elements of the arr and the output format is given as below the output consists of a single integer that is the count of unique triplets having product m right so the constants are as follows you have to follow that so here are the sample inputs so first input uh, that is m right so 60 is the value of m and the value of n is 7 which is the length of the array and the array elements are these and the output is 3 how i am explaining so combination of 5 multiply 3 multiply 4 is 60 so we will count uh, count that as 1 and again we will uh, find the combination uh, which will be multiplied and it will be equal to 60 so the next combination um, is 20 multiply 3 multiply 1 so this is also 60 so we will count plus 1 and the next combination is 10 multiply 3 multiply 2 we will also count that as plus 1 so total 3 count so we will print 3 right so in the next example as well so 36 is the value of m and m is the value of n which is the length of the array and array elements are these right so here also the possible combinations are 18 multiply 2 multiply 1 is 36 so we will count uh, this as 1 and uh, 9 multiply 4 multiply 1 this is also a combination so we will count that plus 1 so total count is equal to 2 so output will be 2 right so i hope you got the task right so if you understood the problem then please start solving the problem by yourself if not possible then come to watch right okay let's see the solution but before i proceed to the solution i would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus coding question or any company question right this will help you a lot right because i am uh, including all previous year coding question all previous year question right so this will help you a lot so please go through that link will be given in the description box right and one thing to tell you that uh, i'm now solving the problem through python but at the end i will show you the solution in java as well so please keep watching the logic then it will be okay right so at first define the function let's say count triplet right so triplet and take the m n and array right as argument and uh, initialize a count which will count uh, triplets right so count is equal to at first zero which will actually count the triplets right so now sort the array for binary searching right so in python we sort this way sorry and now we have to run two for loop uh, why you will uh, soon get to know why we are taking two two loops right so for i in range n minus 2 and we are initializing two pointer that is left is equal to i plus 1 and right is equal to n minus 1 so just give me a while i will give you the explanation full just let me write the code right so uh, while left less than right and product is equal to array of i multiply array of left multiply array of right if product is equal to is equal to m then we will count plus is equal to 1 and left sorry left plus is equal to 1 
and right minus is equal to 1 so what we are doing actually let's say n is equal to 7 so we are going up to 6th index and uh, the left pointer is pointing at the 1th index and right pointer is pointing at the last index right so if left uh, while left less than right so product is equal to the 0th index element multiply uh, the 1th index element multiply the uh, last index element so if this is 60 or the desired element that is m then we will count plus is equal to 1 and we will move the right pointer uh, to the left and uh, the left pointer to the right if uh, to find the next triplet right so if this not l if product less than m then we will move the left pointer to the right side right and else that means if product greater than m then uh, then uh, we will move the right pointer to the left so right sorry right minus is equal to 1 right and at the end return sorry return the count right so it this will be fine so now just uh, take the input and driver code then uh, the code will run fine so int input and the n is equal to int input this is the length of the array and uh, the array elements are arr is equal to list of map of int input okay now this will take the input sorry input dot split right and uh, just call the function this will do its work right so uh, what we had taken the name count triplet right so count triplet and m comma n comma error right so print that this will be fine so print count triplet m in error right so let's run for the first input and check if this is right or wrong right so let me copy this first okay for 60 and 7 element the array elements are these check this is 3 right as expected and for the second input uh, that is 36 and 5 and the array elements are 9 18 2 1 4 and the output is 2 right so i hope you got the logic and syntaxes right so if you face still any problem then let me know i will give you the explanation in the comment section right so whoever has been waiting for java let's go to the java solution so i have written the solution already so actually full same uh, logic right so there is no rocket science and there is no difference between them just little bit syntax right so i hope you will pause the video and take the screenshot right so at the end i hope you enjoyed this session if you loved this video then please share this video with your friend and subscribe this thank you for today's session